Hey Daisy, what's up? Hey. What are you doing? Just about to make some food ASMR. Ah, uh, okay. Well, hey, do you mind if we ask you like 21 <gasps> questions real quick? Go for it. Okay, Shit, it should take it. What's up? All right, so let's start. Right. Where were you born? Santa Rosa, California, Northern California. Okay. What is one thing you will never forget as a child? One time, I brought home like 12 chicks when I didn't tell my parents. Yep. That's crazy. <laughs> what is and I one... just gave it to my grandma because she has a chicken coop. <laughs> what is one piece of advice you would give anybody who's trying to become an influencer? Be authentic to yourself. Stay true to who you are. Um, don't get caught up in like what everyone else is doing. Don't try to like act cool or anything. Really just like be strong with who you are as a person and do everything you can to show that online, you know? That's great advice. Thanks. What's next up for Daisy? Um, I'm starting a few brands actually. I'm starting a bikini brand called Oopsie Daisy. I'm really, really excited about that. I'm also going to be coming out with merch very soon. And for my fitness, um, for my fitness programs, I have like an eating plan, an at-home workout, a gym-based workout. Gonna start selling some booty bands really quick, some um, ankle weights, some supplements. Lots to come with that. Is this your first time working in the entertainment industry? Yes. Before this, I worked in an auto body shop. What does a day in the life look like for Daisy? So I wake up, I give my dog a kiss, of course. Um, I either go work out with my trainer or I go tan, depends like which one is first. Um, and then I will get ready for the day and I'll make some TikToks, do a YouTube video, make go take some Instagram photos, do whatever I need to do for the clubhouse. Um, Usually I have like a meeting or a phone call or something like that. It really depends. Every day is kind of different, but it's pretty business oriented. What artist or band do you always recommend when someone asks for a music recommendation? No one ever asked me. If they were to ask you, who would you recommend? Um, hmm. I really like Kanye. I'd say Kanye. What's a secret talent of yours? I don't really have any. <laughs> Actually... Um, I can like juggle with my feet. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I played soccer for like 13 years. So my juggling record is like 5,000. What's your favorite place to go to in the world? I don't know. I haven't really been places. I've only been out of the country twice because I moved to LA and then like for just, I've only been here for a year. I've been really busy within that time, kind of working on my business. And then before that, I just lived with my family. Like we weren't really travelers. It's kind of a hassle to go anywhere. So I've only been out of the country twice, but so far my favorite is Turks and Caicos. If social media wasn't a thing, what would you be doing right now? I'd be in college. What advice would you give your 10-year-old self? Um, if people don't talk to you, it's usually not a personal issue. Usually it's due to intimidation or they just don't know what to say. Usually it's not because they don't like you. And I used to get really down on myself and get really insecure. Like, oh, maybe they just don't like me when I don't even remember doing anything to them. And really it was just their own um, battles that they had with it. Why did you decide to create the clubhouse? Why? Why? Um, because I was felt like I was being taken advantage of at the Hype House and I had it and I thought it was a brilliant idea. So I was like, I really want to do it the right way. So I found some investors and did my thing. Who's one person that changed your life? Jay Alvarez. Um, he taught me a lot about my mind. I've always been super deep and spiritual, but I didn't know what it meant. I didn't have the words to put it together. And he really just like laid it out there for me and like explained everything. I was like, wow, I'm not alone. And it really just helped me navigate through my own mind. So he really has changed my life for that, sure. That's awesome. How did you and Abby meet? Uh, me and Abby met through our other friend, our mutual friend, Abby, actually, another Abby. <laughs> and they came over for a photo shoot, and um, me and Abby actually didn't even take any photos together. I just kind of took photos of them, and like vice versa, was hanging out. And we vibed ever since. If you could go back in time, what memory would you revisit? Hmm. That's a hard one. I need to think for a second. If you're... How long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? 
It takes me 15 minutes. Depends if, I, actually if I have to wash my hair, it takes me like an hour because I have to blow dry, curl, whatever. But usually 15 minutes and my hair is done. What's your favorite unhealthy food? Chocolate. If one person was to narrate your life, who would you choose? Margot Robbie, I love her voice and I just, I don't know, I look up to her. She's what, so beautiful. What's one thing you want to do in your life that would fulfill everything? Um, I don't really think any one thing would fulfill everything. I kind of believe that I'm constantly gradually growing just, and I've never like hit my peak, you know, I don't really see it that way because you have peaks in multiple things. So, you know, um, I think if anything, just be complete in my mind, which I know that'll never happen because I'm always going to learn about myself. So I, I can't even answer that because I don't really believe in that, to be honest. What was your first job? <laughs> um, my first, I think, well, my first like real job, like on the books is a restaurant. I was a hostess at my hometown, like restaurant. If you could ask your future self one question, what would it be? Who am I going to marry? <laughs> okay, Daisy, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.